Hi everyone. So this is a very exciting day. Yesterday, I received my Yesu uh, FT991A. And um, it, right now it's April uh, 17th, 2020. And it was uh, about $100 less than usual. And this radio is, is a... Uh, unboxing video <laughs> actually it comes in a beautiful uh, box um, very sturdy when you when you get the box it feels really really heavy <laughs> at first I thought you know they were they were just joking uh, when I was watching some of the other unboxing videos and uh, it comes with a, uh, a beautiful manual and it also comes with a map, uh, which is pretty cool, and I'm not sure. It's a map of the world, so I'm going to definitely put, do a video for that as well. And it comes with, uh, this, you know, a, a microphone. Uh, and the microphone is, uh, they were saying that it's pretty standard. So it comes in the box, so that's pretty neat. And... It also comes with a wire, you know, to connect um, to the power supply. Uh, apparently, this is a, a pretty standard plug for Yesu. It has uh, uh, fuses on the other side, so you can connect it to the power supply. There is uh, a fuse one fuse that is included in the box. So, you know, you've probably seen many unboxing videos, um, you know, how it looks, how, how it turns on. And yeah, I'm gonna do a video uh, the first time I turn it on. But a couple of things that I've noticed about this radio so far <clears throat> is that the dials, these dials, and these are the gain dials, uh, they only, they stop, they go from one place to another. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, just like my VX6, I know it goes from zero to, you know, whatever, number 100. Same thing with this one, because that's another, I believe, gain, right? Yeah, that's a gain. Here, there's a VFO dial, and that one goes on forever. That one doesn't stop. Neither does this, this one either. That one's, I think, it doesn't say, does it? Multi, I believe it says. So, again, I have to read. But the dials, they really feel really nice. This one, which changes the frequency, I've discovered that it has like a, a collar. See this collar right here? You make, it, you make it tighter. You want this to be a little more stiff. You turn this to make it a little more stiff or looser if you want that. So that little collar thing right there is, is pretty neat. Um, the switch here, I thought the switch was like, you know, it flips over, but it doesn't. You just press on it and it goes. The button feel is really nice. Reminds me of my old calculators, the calculators I used to have in the 90s when I used to go to school. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it has, uh, what is that right there? For a key, for your headphones, and then for your microphone. On the bottom, uh, it has these legs, and it has this kickstand. That's going to be really neat. It reminds me of like uh, oscilloscopes or something back in the day. Uh, you know, taking the physics class. So that's pretty neat. Uh, one thing that I, that I really like, and I'm not exaggerating, this is kind of heavy, uh, and it has a strap, or no, what is this thing? Uh, hmm, I guess it's a strap. Something to hold it, right? Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, you can carry this around. So um, I bet you there's probably people that sell a nice bag for this, but you can carry this around. That is, that is wonderful. Wonderful. I really like that. 
Then on the other side of the machine, wow. One thing I noticed that it doesn't have any vents. No vents. No vents. Um, so I'm wondering if it gets warm or not. That's going to be very interesting. I guess we can look at this very quickly. This is, I guess this is where the speaker is. Kind of small, but who knows how loud. They are, they, I was looking at somebody that was saying that if you, you know, put something like this, cup it, you can hear it louder. Uh, again, you gotta be careful not to drop this or to damage it. This thing has ground. And uh, the ground is very important if you're going to do HF. Um, for HF, for hearing the HF signal better, and for safety too, because your antenna could pick up charge and it could, you know, easily be on the surface of this radio and give you a nice kick. Um, and also for if there's lightning and stuff. Now, um, there are ways to ground, to do the ground for this. And I'm going to have to learn. I mean, asking some other hams and they've given me some ideas. If you have any ideas on... Um, making ground on this if you have some unique ideas please tell me um, at the moment I don't know if I want to put an eight foot rod copper rod outside who knows how much that's gonna cost but of course safety is important um, number one thing that we should consider uh, right here we have the antenna for 144 or 430 uh, this is going to be great for my um, antenna that I have outside I also want to use it with my uh, uh, Dr. Fung antenna. That's going to be really neat. See if I can get any. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get something out of it. I'm, I'm going to have to be very careful. That's one thing that um, I'm going to have to be very careful about the wattage. I don't want to burn anything out. Um, and definitely I'm going to read and make sure I have a little sticky note somewhere about how, how much wattage I can throw out on the antenna. Then you have uh, RTTY data and then tune lin. These, you know, I'm still figuring out what these are, but I, definitely um, they are for other components. Apparently, you know, some things are backward compatible with this radio. And of course you have the GPS cat. Uh, apparently you can connect the GPS unit to this for, is it wires X? Uh, again, I'm still trying to understand. This is the plug for the power. And, oh, let's see, let's try to use my other arm here. Uh, this one is, of course, to connect to your uh, PC or Mac. We'll see if we can connect it to the Mac. It didn't come with the cable, and well, it didn't come with any of these other cables either. Or did it? I think there might be a programming cable in there. And I haven't really looked for it. Um, that would be neat if it is. Uh, this one is the USB-B port, like a printer port. So that's pretty cool. And then it has apparently external speakers. And then REM ALC, which I don't... Oh, this is a remote, I think. And that one is for speakers. Be interesting to see what type of speakers, if it sounds any better. Ah, there's the antenna, HF. And then you have this nice, hefty fan. Look at that. That's really neat. You can apparently open this box, and there are some other things in there that uh, you can muck around. Uh, I'm going to be really interested to, to experiment. See, that's one of the things that um, I think Ham Radio has to offer, that you can... You can be really into something for a long time trying to figure out. If you're the type of person that wants to figure things out, um, this is the hobby for you. <laughs> Let's look over here. Yeah, see it supplied accessories. It doesn't come with a programming cable. Well, that's kind of disappointing, isn't it? That would be neat. Ah, but you can buy these other accessories if you want. Uh, okay. So there's a lot here uh, to learn. I got this yesterday and I haven't, I mean, I'm still reading. I'm, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I know how to do this now. I'm waiting for some tools to come in. I will be doing some videos on some of these new tools that I'm gonna get for the power poles to strip wire. I mean, I got some old tools and sure I can use a knife. I can use my pocket knife. I know that. Um, I, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do old school, but there are other special to, uh, uh, tools out there that utilize uh, some weird, um, you know, methods to strip wire, to crimp wires and stuff. So that's, that's going to be really neat. And when I, when I do have that, then I'll be more comfortable setting up the radio and then we'll turn it on, set it up, restart it, have a whole bunch of videos to figure out how to use the radio. This is going to be fun. And I hope uh, you come along and have fun with me as well. If you like this video, please, uh, uh, put some, put a thumbs up on it. Uh, if you like these videos too, please subscribe um, and be safe out there and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.